Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to find the general solutions. So we have the formula in here. So if we look carefully, this one we have 1 over side s. This one we have cosine s over side s. In this one, we need to set up the domain. That means side s cannot equal to number 0. So in this one, s cannot equal to kp. And we know that k that is belong to integers. So we have the next one. So we need to transform this one into this one. So number three minus number one, we have number two. So I will put about t equal to cosecant of s and this one we have t square and t so we need to find the value of this one t equals to negative number one and t equals to negative number two so we have t that is this one and cosecant of s that is this one so i will put negative number one go to the left negative number two go to the left and we have side s equals to negative number one and side s equals to negative one over two and now we can see that both of them they are not equals to number zero so we can accept and now we have the formula so in this one we have 8 equal to arc side of b plus k2b and 8 equals to b minus 2 arc side of b plus k2b so if we apply the formula, that will be like this. So we put S go in here. And negative number 1 go in here. Similar for the next one. So this one we have negative b over 2 this one we have negative b over 2 so if we simplify we have negative and negative we have positive so b plus b over 2 that is about 3b over 2 but if I put k equals to number 1 go in here so you got about s minus b over 2 plus 2b and this one you calculate and you got about 3b over 2 so that means this one repeat again this one so in this case we just write only one solution in here and this is the first one now let's go to the second one this one you got negative b over 6 this one we have negative b over 6 
So negative and negative, we have positive. So B plus 1, uh, B plus B over 6, and that is about 7B over 6. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.